Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. In this experiment, we will discuss about experiment 1A which is to determine the voltage of a voltage cell. Before that, don't forget to press the subscribe button to get the latest content notifications. The materials needed are magnesium ribbon, aluminium sheets, zinc, iron, lead, and copper. The solution needed is a copper to nitrate solution at 1 mole per cubic decimeter. Copper to nitrate solution contains the important ions, copper to ions and nitrate ions. Copper to ions is an oxidizing agent which accepts electrons while nitrate ion is a non-reacting spectator ion, so it is ignored. For the first set, both magnesium and copper are immersed into the copper to nitrate solution. Magnesium is connected to the negative terminal of the voltmeter and copper is connected to the positive terminal. Once the circuit is complete, the voltmeter shows a reading at a value of approximately 2.7 volt. Using a digital thermometer, a more accurate reading is found to be 2.72 volt. There is one question here. Why do these pairs of metals produce voltages or potential differences? What is the chemical concept behind this phenomenon? The answer to this question is discussed in the tuition class. Students who are interested in deepening their knowledge of chemistry and understanding such questions can join the tuition class at our center face-to-face -face or online. Next, we can see the magnesium ribbon slowly becoming thinner, dissolving into the solution. A brown solid deposit formed on the copper electrode which eventually fell to the bottom of the beaker. The blue color of the solution becomes increasingly faded. A magnesium atom releases two electrons. These electrons move through the outer circuit from magnesium to the copper electrode. On the surface of copper metal, a copper 2 ion receives two electrons and discharge to form a copper atom. And copper is deposited on the surface of the metal. Magnesium is a reducing agent that donates electrons. Magnesium ribbon is a negative terminal that produces electrons. Copper is a positive terminal due to electrons moving towards it. Copper 2 ions are oxidizing agents that accept electrons. For the second set, aluminium and copper sheets are immersed into a copper to nitrate solution. Aluminium is connected to the voltmeter at the negative terminal and copper the positive terminal. Once the circuit is complete, it shows a voltage reading of 2 volt. At the end of the experiment, it was found that the aluminium sheets has dissolved into the solution. A brown deposit is formed on the copper sheet. The blue color of the solution becomes less intense. Each aluminum atom donates three electrons. These electrons move to the copper electrode. Each copper ion takes two electrons to form copper atom that is deposited on the surface of the copper electrode. For set 3, zinc and copper sheets are immersed into a copper 2 nitrate solution. Zinc is the negative terminal while copper is the positive terminal. The voltmeter shows a voltage reading of 1.10 volt. Zinc electrode dissolves into the solution. 
A brown solid deposit is formed. The blue color of the solution becomes less intense. The zinc atoms donate two electrons each at the negative terminal to form the zinc ions. Electrons move to the positive terminal where the copper two ions take two electrons each to form copper atoms. For step 4, iron and copper sheets are immersed into a copper two nitrate solution. Iron is the negative terminal while copper is a positive terminal. The voltmeter shows a voltage reading of 0.78 volt. The iron electrode dissolves into the solution. A brown solid deposit is formed. The blue color of the solution turns greenish. Iron atoms donate two electrons to form green iron two ions. Copper two ions take two electrons each to form the brown copper metal deposit. For step 5, lead and copper sheets are immersed into a copper two nitrate solution. Lead is the negative terminal while copper is the positive terminal. The voltmeter shows a voltage reading of 0.47 volt. Lead electrode dissolves into the solution. A brown solid deposit is formed. The blue color of the solution becomes increasingly faded. Lead atom donate two electrons each to form lead two ions. Copper two ions take two electrons each to form copper metal. For set 6, two copper sheets are immersed into a copper 2 nitrate solution. When the circuit is complete, the voltmeter shows a voltage reading of 0 volt. No changes were observed. All metal pairs show chemical reactions except for the copper metal pair. However, the cell voltage varies according to the type of metal pair. A metal pair that has a larger difference of E0, that is the standard electrode potential, produces a larger cell voltage value. That's all for this time. I hope everybody can benefit from this video.